mixing, fixing for another big game. It's the coach, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see running back Joe Mixon coming off a 100-yard performance a week ago as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, we're off to Arrowhead for the call from Kansas City. We'll hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach. Well, from a place that's officially been recognized as the loudest venue in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium right here in Kansas City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. To throw, it's Mahomes. The linebacker, Miles Jack, able to knock that one away. And now the Chiefs' offensive starters. One thing for us to keep in mind and remember, they're coming off of their open week last week. Mahomes going to throw. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll get up to the 43. Really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production. But I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. A look there at the defensive starters for Cincinnati. They were excellent a week ago in the win over Pittsburgh. Have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw. They ended up getting four sacks in the game. Stayed in the face of the quarterback. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And that is incomplete. On the ground, this is Joe Mixon. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Offensive starters, here they are. David DeCastro, what do you think about him, Charles? Brandon could not have been better trained. This is Mixon. Still churning, and he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Defensively, here's how they will line it up for Kansas City. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. I jotted down in my notes in prepping for this game that this is definitely an area we got to keep an eye on because you talk about where they rank in stopping the run. Come on. Back to throw. Kendall. He'll have a first down past the 40. Complete to his tight end sample. They'll run on first down. Mixon. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Looking to throw. Kendall. He'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. A lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact and he'll go deep. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this won't be enough. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's got the first down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Looking for Boyd, and he's got him. Touchdown, Bengals. 
You know exactly what they're fighting for is that word that some people don't want to hear, but it's pride. Draft. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go draft, but pride's better. Can they win some games and feel better about themselves despite the fact they have no shot at the playoffs? And now a throw here secured by his running back. They do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield. They run the counter. Buchanan. J.J. Watt the one that gets him down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Talk with GMs who are putting together a team. A lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. On first down, Mixon. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. These pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. To throw on second down. Kimball, blitz coming, and down he goes. Off the play fake. Kimball. Eluding the pressure right. And the pressure gets to him again. If they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting. Mahomes now to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. It's on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line. You know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. On second down now, it's Buchanan. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. They go play action. Now Mahomes going to throw deep for the end zone. And that is incomplete. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, he'll force the incompletion. Yeah, had his hands on it for a second. A little bit of tough catch, though, falls incomplete. And they'll get this down to the 10. Can't really hide it, but the tight end drag route. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But it looks like the Chiefs are going to get it back. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks them up. And avoids the turnover. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. Chiefs on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. This will be third and six. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes. They'll run on first down. Mixon. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three. Looking to throw on second down. Kendall. And this one incomplete. Operating from the gun. Kendall. Going deep downfield for Ross. And that'll be incomplete. Do it in multiple ways. Yeah. Arm, legs. He really helps his team in a big way. You got to think that they feel great about where they are in this ball game. Here's Mahomes to throw. The kid here, it's complete. And they'll get him down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try the left side. It's Stevens. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. On second down, it's Simmons. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Let's see if they do it anyway. On third down, Stevens. 
He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. On first and 10, Kendall. And this will be incomplete. Throwing again, Kendall. That's complete to the tight end sample. On third down, Kendall. Got an open man, that's Campbell. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. They keep it on the ground, this time it's Mixon. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Mixon. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Back to throw, Kendall. Catch made here by Campbell. And he works it past the 30. On first down, Kendall. Campbell making the catch. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. Because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. The NFL season going to be about two-thirds complete after this weekend. So lots to get to as we check out what's going on here in week 11. We'll get started down at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. And it's the Dolphins who have the lead in that one. Josh Rosen has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, we head to the Big Easy to check on the Saints at home in the Superdome. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. Jacoby Brissett throwing the football well. He has three touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get out to Jacksonville. See what's happening with the Jaguars at TIAA Bank Field. And you can see there is the visiting Colts who have the lead in that one. Ryan Switzer, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21 yard. They'll try to get the run game going. This is Mixon, and they're going to get him behind the line yet again. Get it up just short of the 45. Mix it. And he'll be brought down at the 50. And again this time to the tailback. And he is met quickly in the backfield. To throw on third down. Kendall. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get out to you. Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense. We got the lead. Yeah. We got the, we got the, we got the lead. Defense. Don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense. They'll keep it on the ground. Simmons. But maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. He can run for it, and he will. And he brings this up to the 46. Deflation on third and short. Excellent coverage. Took away all the short routes, but the one person who wasn't accounted for, the quarterback. From just shy of midfield, Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Third down. 
Isaac Simmons. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. If you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Stevens. Got some real estate inside the 30. And finally brought down. You can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. On first down, Nixon. And he'll take it forward for about five. Second and five. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Looking to throw. Kendall, he's got his man, Boyd. We see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. They'll run on first down. Nixon. And he's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he'll cross over out of bounds. I don't even know why this team up. <laughs> Off play action. Kendall. And he's going to lose yardage here. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Back to throw. Kendall. And that is incomplete. From the gun. Kendall. This one hauled in by Sample. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this. In. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. Because to me, he's got to take over right now. Indeed means action. Exactly. Throwing on second down. Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now here's Mahomes. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And unable to connect. Incomplete. On first down. Mixon. Once again, they run with Mixon. They'll try and run with their fullback. And he will. Throwing on first down. Kendall. Going deep downfield for Ross. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. After the penalty, it's Nixon. They'll run it now out of the gun. Call it a gain of a couple. From the gun on third down, Kendall. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he'll be taken down, but he does on, have first man, down. Go. Go. 56. Come on. 56. Record. Record. Here's a run with Mixon. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals are going to jump back in front. College, high school, peewee ball, wherever. <laughs> Anything positive that he remembers about taking a team downfield with a chance to win. You got nothing. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Now Mahomes. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. They'll run on first down. Mixon. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Operating from the gun. Kendall. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. Mixon with it. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 
Now they run with Nixon. And he'll be stopped just outside the five. The Bengals go down to a knee in the victory formation. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Coming into the last frame, got it done, taking the knee. A great come from behind victory in this one, Charles, and really the difference, obviously, was that fourth quarter. They dominated. And it has to start with believing that you can make that comeback. Because we've been in games before, we've done games where you just look at one team and realize they have no chance of making it back. Not in the one we just saw here. They did it, and they did it well. So for Cincinnati, the great run they've been on continues as they move to 9-1 and one now. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Big D to take on the Cowboys.